with tattooing, sometimes you've only got 45 minutes to like forge this bond with this person, but they will carry that tattoo with them for the rest of their life. It's, it's etched into their skin now, like it's part of them. So that experience is profound even in the short duration it was. If you look at their life and they live to be 87 and they spent 45 minutes with you, like it's strange that that mark gets carried with them. You're tied to that. So now you're going with them for the full, full ride. Getting yourself into a creative mindset is really important. And you know, like as adults, we all have so much shit going on in our life. Like sometimes it's tough to create. So to kind of wipe away the sludge of, you know, every day and, and you know, the, the difficulties of life, I'll have uh, some mint tea. Drink a little mint tea. It's warm, it's kind of soothing and uh, I'll just uh, take that, sit down in kind of a quiet zone, sip some of that, and uh, just try to get relaxed before you get going. I find that doing thumbnails kind of gets the creative juices going. You're warming up your body and you're kind of warming up your mind a little bit. You draw a little frog and then you know you set them on fire real quick or something and then after that you're ready to actually jump into the bigger project. I like to start with a gesture drawing uh, you know I keep it super loose right off the gate. I don't try to define anything I'm just like looking for shapes and play between the size of your elements making sure there's some balance and not only balance but movement. I think the more loose you are in the beginning, the more that movement and like vitality comes through. Especially for a tattoo, it's gonna be on a body. So you do want it to flow and move a little bit. Sometimes you have to do it specifically for a tattoo, right? A body is not just like a 18 by 24 inch square, right? You're dealing with like, nipples and armpits and like weird body contours or like strange skin so a lot of times you know the the designing of the tattoo is specific to the spot that you're going to be tattooing i'll start uh, kind of digging through this big mass of of winding lines and stuff um and i'll maybe go with a lighter color marker and start to kind of refine my shape a little bit and then go to another one, you know, a little bit darker and build, you know, kind of build off all of these. Then when I've got a, a solid line drawing, I'll go ahead and transfer that over to some paper. Hopefully it turns out good and if not, you know, uh, because it was analog, you crumple it up, you throw it away, you get out that line drawing that you're happy with you retrace it and, and go for it again, you know. Um, and uh, that, that's probably the most frustrating part. When you look at something and you know something's off, you cannot then bring it out as like a finished piece. You know, you, you just can't. Um, the bumps in the creative process are tough because sometimes you just don't feel like getting up and, and doing something. I'm a strong believer in the grind. And, uh, you know, if you grind hard enough, you know, you're going to get something out. But, uh, you know, it can be difficult. Time is limited. You know, regardless of what you're doing, you know, time is limited. Um, so you can't grind all the time because you'll also burn out. I just try to Make sure that you have a little bit of time to let your mind rest Because I think what ends up happening with that block a lot of time is there's so much pressure to Create or to do something that the pressure is too much and That's what's stopping you. So I think doing something where it doesn't that doesn't matter is freeing
You know, like that little frog. You know, I'm not tattooing that frog. The frog's not making me any money. It's just a little fun little thing to do. Tattooing gets kind of idealized by people who aren't doing it, who think that it's like this ultimate freedom job. And, uh, you know, it is in a way. It is very free and it's it's wonderful. And I mean, I get to do tattoos for a living. So, you know, I'm not complaining. I love it. Uh, it's provided a lot for me. But I'm also a family man. And so that can kind of make it a little bit more difficult because you don't have as much time at home to just sit down and really grind on a on a piece, but you still owe it to your people to do that. When you're creating for yourself, you know, and working on a project that you're invested in, it's a little bit different. So you can go through as many iterations of this thing as you want to. And a lot of times it transforms in that process from what you thought it was going to be ending up, you know, what you actually have produced. So it's a journey and it's, it's a, it's a winding journey. And you know, there's, there's a lot of frustration because when you're trying to produce something for yourself, why are you doing it? For me, it's because I want growth. Like, I want to produce something that's better than what I have been producing. In chasing that, there's a lot of self-analyzing and realizing that it's not as good as you probably wanted it to be. And that's always the, that chase. There's joy in doing it because it's what you love, but it's, it's two-sided because also that's difficult. Especially like if you're looking for a critique, thing like that, when you've put so much of yourself into something and then you bring it to someone whose opinion, you know, you trust, it's not necessarily all good, you know, when they identify the things that you need to work on. It's good for you, it's healthy because that's gonna help you grow. But also, this thing that you work so hard on is not a masterpiece. That realization can be can be tough. I think most people overcome that and continue to create, and that's really important. You know, a tattoo is it's all part of the journey, right? I remember I had this one lady, and she just poured her whole story out to me while I covered this little tattoo, it was of her ex-husband's name. You know, we put a couple little roses over it and it was like, you know, maybe an hour and a half. And in that time she told me her whole story um, and it was an intense story. Her like profound joy over like making this step, you know, towards getting rid like getting rid of these experiences was like palpable you know to be able to provide that for someone like you're related now in in your interaction with each other I'll always remember that, she'll always remember that. I don't know her name, but you know, that, that story is, is part of both of our, our lives now. Yeah, it's pretty wild that that's part of your job. that this, you know, that you're not gonna help them with this horrible thing. Uh, one moment. Percy? Are we noodles, Oh yeah, your noodles are done.